I'd like to welcome you today to the celebrate the extraordinary life of an extraordinary man, Colonel Joe Madison Jackson. I'm the son of Joe M. Jackson, um, Medal of Honor recipient. When he joined the service, it was the Army Air Corps. Very lucky in that he got air cadets, something they needed men right then for the war. And without a, a, a college education, he got to go fly airplanes. So I got lucky and I got to go to the uh, Charlotte Raceway for the Charlotte 500. And they were having military week there. They had my dad there because of being special ops weeks, he was involved with special ops when he received the Medal of Honor. We trundled up to the box and we were watching the race. And uh, my dad and I are sitting there and one of the doormen comes up to my dad and says, sir, there's somebody at the door that wants to talk to you. And uh, he goes, oh, okay. And so I went with him and everything. And um, there was a gentleman there, uh, Jim Lundy. He was one of the three guys that my father had uh, rescued that day, Mother's Day, 1967. He had not seen him for 30 years. It was to the day. It was Mother's Day that this race went on. Coincidence, he was there that day. He came to the door and they had met after 30 years. He hadn't seen him since the day of the rescue. It was very emotional. Jim Lundy, would you please stand up? Uh, my name is Jim Lundy, and Joe Jackson saved my life on May the 12th, 1968. I was with the Air Force Combat Control Team. Our job was to handle landing zones and drop zones to resupply or reinforce uh, and occasionally evacuate uh, forward operating areas. And we were at a small Special Forces A camp, A-105 in uh, Cam Duc, Republic of Vietnam. It was on the Laotian border. The camp came uh, under severe attack from two North Vietnamese regiments. After everybody was evacuated, there were three of us left on the ground. Uh, myself, another combat controller, and an Air Force pilot. Um, C-130 pilot, and uh, everybody else was gone. And the North Vietnamese were coming into the under the runways, and uh, there were a couple of thousand of them and the three of us, and so we'd pretty much written ourselves off. However, uh, through one of the most amazing feats of airmanship that I've ever witnessed, and. I was an air traffic controller in civilian life and seen a lot of flight. Joe Jackson brought in a C-123 from 9,000 feet in, uh, in a sharp, steep descent in a 270 turn into a maelstrom and a hail of bullets and fire and rockets and, and artillery shells and mortars exploding everywhere. And he landed that C-123 on the ground there in Cam Duck. And the three of us ran out of the culvert that we were taking cover in. And he turned it around, dropped the tailgate, and the three of us jumped on board and he took off with us. I owe my life to Joe Jackson. 